So these are um, two meals, pre-prepared meals. People are busy, they come home from work, they want something they can just take out of the fridge and pop in the microwave. One of the challenges is that they can be quite hard to navigate and a lot can be hidden under the hood. If we look at these two meals, you might think, well, they're pretty comparable, but straight mm. away by looking at the Health Star rating. Yeah. So the Health Star rating is what we call an interpretive front of pack labeling system. Really fancy name. What it means is it's trying to make simple all of the stuff on the back so yeah, that you can make really... a quick decision at the supermarket. I would use a health star rating for choosing between foods in a similar similar products, not ah. navigating the supermarket in its entirety. So yeah. you've got two similar products. Straight away you can see this one gets four, four. Yeah. and this one only gets two. Yeah. Why is that? Well, let's turn over and, and find out. And what you see very quickly is that this one has yeah. twice your day's worth of salt. In fact, in just one serve, yeah. it has more than your entire daily recommended intake of salt. Wow. You can, you can imagine walking into a store, yeah. seeing those two sitting next to each other, and you've just seen, been to see your cardiologist, you're trying to reduce your salt intake. Yeah. I mean, they basically look identical, and yet one has twice as much salt as the other. Don't tell me the yogurt's bad. <laughs> so let's have a look, let's have a look at, your, at your favourites, the yogurt. All right. All right. I think we know which one's Again, going to be yeah. my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Notice, same brand. Yeah. Okay. One has the Health Star rating and one doesn't. That's another big challenge of this system. It's not mandatory. And so companies tend to put it on products that are healthier. Right. You know, because then the Health Star rating is there basically as a marketing tool right. rather than having it on all products and in particular products that maybe are slightly less healthy or are going to get a lower score. When they're telling you how much sugar there is in a serving size of this yogurt, yeah. they're talking about 180 grams of yogurt. Oh. This one, they're talking about 90 grams. Oh, so, so yeah, so we look at, again, so we how much sugar? Grams. How much sugar is there per serving of well, this that yogurt? Well, this has got 13.9 without my glasses on. So this has got 15 grams per serving. So you'd think, well, that's got 13 grams of sugar per serving. This has got 15 grams of sugar per serving. That must be healthier, yeah. but actually that's not the case. The serving size of it's this twice is twice. Right. So this has got roughly half the sugar of this product, but they hide it by making smaller serving, serving sizes. Oh. Really misleading. I mean, this is getting pretty close to ice cream territory in my eyes. There is quite um. a lot of sugar in this product. So you can see how complex this really is. And yeah. it's not a surprise that, you know, most Australians are really struggling uh, to understand kind of what is healthy and maintain a healthy weight.